the last class we were discussing about the equations of internal expanding shoe break so regarding that uh, we have arrived in the relation final relation that is breaking torque breaking torque for the leading shoe as wa into n into mu of into k by n minus mu of k and for the trailing Two, we got the relation T equal to W A into M into mu f into k by n plus mu f into k, and uh, we know that n is a positive value, mu f is positive, k is also positive. So the value n minus mu f into k will be always less than n plus mu of k. So as a result, uh, we can say that this. Uh, in this value uh, in this relation the denominator is decreasing uh, and it is increasing so t t will be less than that of uh, tl and the total breaking torque is t equal to tl plus tt so now okay now we can see some effects effects of this expanding mechanism of two on the total breaking torque total breaking torque so actually there are two types of expanding mechanisms two types of expanding mechanisms expanding mechanisms there are two types of expanding mechanisms the first case the, <clears throat> the first case we can say the actuating forces actuating forces actuating actuating forces the okay, actuating forces what are there wl and wt both uh, the actuating forces are equal that means wl equal to wt this is the first case which is equal to wa and here the total breaking torque t will be equal to tl plus pt and from the uh, previous equations we can say t equal to what is it w a into m into mu f k divided by n sin theta n sin theta minus mu f into k minus n cos theta this is tl plus tt wa into m into mu f into k divided by n sin theta n sin theta plus mu f into k minus n cos theta okay so this can be written as 2 into that is some kind of relation are you uh, 1 by 
a plus b plus 1 by a minus b what is that 1 by a plus b plus 1 by a minus b can be written as a square minus b square upon 2a let's see okay let's see a minus b plus a plus b let's see let's see 2a let's see आधे बोले ना बड़ा ये एक फॉर्मेट लाने बड़ा लगा है ना तो बड़ा ये तो एक कांस्टेंट आना है टेंडर केस में इस इस डी कांस्टेंट सो वी कैन राइट इट एस वन बाय फॉर ए इट इस एन साइन थीटा एंड इंसिड ऑफ बी हियर इट इस म्यू ऑफ इंडू के माइनस एन कोस थीटा तो अप्लाइंग दिस वी कैन Two times two times B is N sine theta N sine theta into this constant that is W A m into mu of into k divided by square of this that is n square sine square theta minus mu of square into k minus n cos theta the whole square Okay, this is the first case or the first mechanism. Now, the next type. Next type. In the next type, we are using a fixed ratio. Fixed ratio for the actuating forces. Actuating forces are in fixed ratio. For the first case, it was same. That is WL is equal to WT. Here, in the second case, it will be in a uh, fixed ratio. So that the, uh, there will be the same rate of wear for the brake lining. So the ratio we can write it as WT by WL. WT by WL. And uh, we know that the WT and WL for the equation, this will be same as that of TL by TT. Be the same as TL by TT. So, what a L lana L. There is a teacher that is WT by WL means TL by TT. Then we can write as
ആ അത് കുഴപ്പമില്ല ഇത് ഇതിന്റെ കുറച്ച് ഇക്വേഷൻസ് മാത്രം എഴുതിയിട്ട് മതി ചോദിച്ചിട്ടൊന്നുമില്ല എങ്കിലും ജസ്റ്റ് ഇക്വേഷൻ മാത്രം എഴുതി വെച്ചാൽ മതി കാണാൻ പഠിച്ചു കിട്ടോ കുഴപ്പമില്ല ഓക്കെ W T by W L is equal to then the numerator will random same man. That one the denominator will number no come back. N sine theta plus mu of into k minus n cos theta divided by n sin theta minus mu of into k minus n cos theta. Here is the relation number by here. Okay. okay <clears throat> these are the two mechanisms now next is regarding the breaking of a bolt okay what are the forces or uh, which are the forces which acts on a retarding bolt while applying applying a brake uh, <clears throat> breaking of a bolt okay ini oru padam varaikkan povana ഓക്കെ ഒരു കാറാണെന്ന് കരുതുക ഓക്കെ ദിസ് എ കാർ അത് എടുത്ത് പറയണല്ലോ നല്ല മനസ്സിലാവുള്ളൂ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് മൂവിംഗ് ഇൻ എ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഡയറക്ഷൻ മൂവിംഗ് ഇൻ എ ഡയറക്ഷൻ as on direction of motion now let this be the center of gravity center of gravity uh g and uh, w capital w be the weight of the vehicle so weight of the vehicle will be acting perpendicularly downwards particularly downwards that is the weight of the vehicle capital w so 
axis have two components in the vertical direction and uh, in the horizontal direction or uh, the component of the uh, weight along the inclined plane that is in this direction that is parallel to the surface which is w sin theta w sin theta and the other component which is perpendicular to the inclined surface that will be w cos theta w cos theta now the distance particular distance this is the wheel base that is denoted by small letter b now the length from the center of gravity towards the rear end this is the rear wheel uh, the rear wheel and this is the front wheel from this center of gravity from center of gravity towards the rear wheel again denoted as l small letter l This is a vehicle, uh, and here you can see the motion. This was the motion. The vehicle is moving in this direction, and uh, the brake is applied. So <clears throat> it has three possibilities. Either uh, the brake is applied for the front wheel. Or in other case, uh, the brake is applied for the rear wheel. And the uh, last case, both the front and rear brakes are applied. So in these three cases, what all forces are acting? Or what are the reaction forces? We can see. <clears throat> okay. Now. So in engineering mechanics, we have seen while uh, studying about the friction and all. This was a surface. The body is placed over a surface. And uh, it has a weight W the W with the weight the force applied in a direction particular direction uh, which may be denoted as capital P then there will be a normal force or normal reaction at the surface like this normal 
and a frictional force will be in the opposite direction of the motion and force and the value will be mu into this normal force that is mu into n where mu is the coefficient of friction so this was a case uh, we have already studied similarly this will be happening in this case also that we will see here you can see these wheels are touching on the inclined surface so there will be a normal force in uh, or normal reaction at these two points and that will be uh, denote it as this point here and also here there are two normal forces or reaction forces represented by rf and rr rf for the front wheel reaction at the front wheel and reaction at the rear wheel is denoted as rr suppose we are breaking uh <coughs> the rear wheel that means the friction will be acting on the rear wheel and if uh, the braking is done for the front wheel then friction will be acting only on the front wheel and in the case where both the brake uh, brakes are applied then the two uh, <coughs> portions the friction will be acting and we can see the direction of friction that means in the first case if we uh, assume that brakes are applied to the rear wheels only then the motion is in this direction therefore the friction should be in the opposite direction or uh, friction will be like this in this direction and the value of the friction will be mu into R R. Okay. Mu into R R. Then, <clears throat> in that cases, uh, what are will be the equations regarding the thing? So we can see. So now we are considering this first case. That is the first case. first case where the brakes are applied to rear wheels only brakes applied to rear wheels okay so here uh, the brake is applied to the rear wheels so what are the equations we can see one by one that is <clears throat> in this case we can say uh, let us assume sigma fx equal to 0 or uh, by by considering the equations of equilibrium we see <clears throat> or we uh, we can take the x axis along the inclined plane x axis along the inclined plane and y axis along the vertical or the vertical direction or perpendicular to the inclined plane so by sigma fy equal to zero that means the uh, forces acting in this direction perpendicular to forces which are perpendicular to the uh, or equating the equations uh, sorry uh, equating the forces along the perpendicular direction of that of the inclined surface to zero what are what all forces are there that is r of in the vertical upward direction r up in the upward direction then the component of weight w that is w cos theta along the vertical direction so we can say 
for gigabyte sigma fy equal to 0 implies rf plus rr minus w cos theta w cos theta equal to 0 okay equal to 0 so from there we can say r of plus r r equal to w cos theta or we can say r r equal to w cos theta plus minus r it will be like this anyway, it will be like this now sigma fx equal to 0 sigma fx equal to 0 implies my fx fx means the forces acting along the inclined plate that is w sin theta then uh, here uh, we are applying brake to the rear surface only so there are only this equation equation is only there or this force is there friction force friction force will not be acting on the front surface so <clears throat> that is w sin theta w sin theta d sin theta minus mu into r r equal to zero okay. you are equal to zero <clears throat> now next is taking the moment for the any point that means at equilibrium also sigma m about any point will be also zero so we are taking moment about this particular point that means uh, at the front wheel front wheel portion this particular point the forces about this point and uh, we will get <coughs> the value <coughs> so in this case uh, one thing is to be noted that here uh, earlier I already mentioned that we are using the symbol F or letter F for acceleration. We are using F, F for acceleration. acceleration. And by Newton's second law, we can say for a body moving or uh, body in uh, dynamic equilibrium could be uh, in, the, in that case the total force will be same as that of or will be equal to m into a or m into a which is uh, the inertia force <coughs> and the inertia force m into a m into a means m into a can be written as in this case m will be equal to M will be also equal to M by uh, W by G, and in this case, A is written as F. So, this will be the inertia force W by G into F that will be acting 
at the center of gravity in will be acting here m into a or w by g into f will be acting so while taking the moment we can see what all forces will be there w sin theta into this particular height this particular height that is from the inclined surface to the center of gravity let it be uh, h small h so moments will be that is the force rf or the re, uh, reaction force rf will be acting through the point so there will be no moment then the force w sin theta which is at a distance small h so the moment will be w sin theta into h and the force due to the inertia force w by g into f at a distance h so the moment created will be w by g into f into h next the due to the reaction rr that will be rr into b which is counter clockwise so <clears throat> these forces uh, or the these moments we can equate it and uh, written as W by G into F into H is due to the inertia force plus W sin theta into H due to the uh, component, vertical component, sorry, horizontal component plus RR V. equal to w cos theta into d minus l that is due to the vertical component that is this component w cos theta component which is at a distance this much that is the total distance is b and the distance from here to here is l so this particular distance will be b minus l so we arrived in this relation. Now, <clears throat> substituting the value of RR, we can write it as RR from here. We can write it as W by G into FH plus w sin theta into h plus instead of r again substitute the value that is <clears throat> uh, before that one thing is to be noted. What is FR or the frictional force? Frictional force we can write that is at the rear surface we can write the frictional force FR, FR which is equal to mu into RR. <coughs> Okay, that is the frictional force which is equal to W sin theta. Here we can say W sin theta is mu into RR. 
and from there rr equal to w sin theta by mu and <coughs> using these relations two relations we can substitute here as a value w sin theta into b by mu plus w by g into b by mu into f where f is the acceleration equal to w cos theta into b minus l <coughs> on simplifying we get f by g equal to mu into b minus l into cos theta by b plus mu into h minus sin theta eda sara time id ayyo oda la da id kalinga ah okay okay so we get the relation for f by g as this much and uh, on substituting we will get the relations final relation there and <coughs> we'll get the relation for rr as b minus l into cos theta b minus l into cos theta by b plus mu into h into w and also for rf rf that is l plus mu into h into cos theta divided by b plus mu into h into w so these are the two relation for the reactions developed uh, on the rear and front wheels when the brakes are applied to rear wheels only similarly there will be two cases other cases also so now we can wind up the session